all right hello everybody welcome to the point of view the uh thing i used to do for a while on my channels i used to do the point of view which is basically just my point of view so i popped my pill my um medication so i don't go rogue so um i have no structure to talk about so um yes i'm saying um a lot because i didn't even know what the fuck i was going to do so yeah all right so i want to talk to you about before we start whatever how long it's going to take probably just me going to be rambling half of the time which is not interesting and interesting at the same time because i have wild thoughts and my wild thoughts are my thoughts okay okay cool so we got some ground rules that i'm gonna be rambling <laughs> so before we start i just want to give some updates on the zero and the color tv stuff all right so um for okay let's start with the uh with the main well let's start with color tv because i have some few things i want to talk about for color tv oh okay Ooh, I, I had to do the um the fucking uh youtuber topology sigh so as you saw color tv is getting a bit cluttered well not cluttered but it's getting a lot of stuff going on which um one of them is the sports so most of y'all who was on my who's on color tv they probably want the wrestling but i also want to bring like variety i want to branch out from just pro wrestling i want so i got the soccer league now i got the football league i think the soccer league did pretty good i think it really did fucking good I don't know why, because from the first part of the soccer league, it was getting views. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and my football joint, it's, it's not really getting a lot of views. Like, to me, I don't care about the views. I just want to know what the people like. So I use the views t to see what the people like. Like, is this... Bruh, it's, my, it's my eye really... All right. Sorry guys, I had to see if the eye was literally, you know, in the center. But yeah, so um the the gridiron league, it, it's not really getting like I don't know if y'all actually liked it. I might put a poll on the uh color TV channel. Probably. But yeah, so uh I, I just wanna know if y'all like the gridiron stuff, like you know, that football league. If y'all like it, just let me know and I will, you know, continue it because part of me is kind of late with it because I had a lot of stuff going on. So the next, so this week, uh, it might be a little bit delayed a bit because I have a lot of shit I got to do and I haven't been pre-recording it like how, like how I was supposed to do. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> so, yeah. And, uh. So, the soccer league, it was a success, I will say, because people actually liked it, which is fucking weird to me. For, uh, Frontline is getting, you know, Frontline is heading to one of their biggest events, and I edit uh, Frontline Everything or Nothing, and, and Everything or Nothing is basically a, a Frontline's biggest event. It was basically their super card, and goddamn, it was it's nearly three hours long. <laughs> It's like two hours and 48 minutes, which is fucking long. <laughs> but yeah, so two hours, 48 minutes, almost three hours long. This is like one, one of the longest fucking events I've ever did in my call feds. It's crazy. I don't know why I'm doing this. I guess I really enjoy it. Like I really do. Like, like, like I enjoy doing this, but it's a, but it's, it takes a lot of energy out of me. Especially for the frontline shit. And maybe sometimes the fire post shit. But yeah. Yeah. So expect everything connecting Saturday, 6 p.m. I might change it to 5. Uh, I might change it to 5 uh, p.m. But yeah. Like around those times, it's, it's going to be a premiere. So you're going to watch it live in real time. Well, not in real time, but you know. Yeah. Uh, What's next? BXW, where have you been? That's all I gotta say about that. <laughs> where have you been? Not been consistent. <laughs> that's where that's where um BXW been. Not consistent. I enjoy it. I mean, 
that show crashed a lot. Like the the game was crashing a lot with that show. Because it's crazy because this is the only show, like the only a promotion that the game will ever crash on a lot. So I might reconsider that show or that fed or something. I might do it like every two months, maybe. I don't know. I'll think about it. <laughs> so, uh what's next? Uh Okay, you know what? Let's switch. Oh, okay, the Bozo Podcast. I'm thinking about doing this. Okay, I'm thinking bringing the Bozo Podcast. Like it's still gonna be on Color TV, but I might get. I don't want to say new ho new new. I, I don't want to say new co-hosts. I'm still gonna have them on standby. Like, okay, the Bozo Podcast is gonna branch out a bit. We're gonna have maybe some random co-hosts here and there. I think y'all like. Mar and Zach more, but they probably busy with their lives and all that stuff, or I'm just not being a bit a good communicator, <laughs> or both. You know, they probably busy with their life, so I'm not gonna bother them too much, especially you know both of them, because you know school, work, being dumbasses, being bozos, but yeah. If Zack and Mar watching this, I love y'all. Y'all some cool motherfuckers, and I'm happy y'all in my life. So yeah, um, they're gonna still gonna be a, a co-host probably, but but I also want to bring in new new uh new people just to have a you know different vibe in each episode. So maybe one episode is gonna be Mar, Zach, me. Some episodes. Maybe me and some other uh, uh, people. So it's going to be rotating. So I'm going to start doing that for the Bozo Podcast. Because the Bozo Podcast is for it's for Bozos. So yeah. The Bozo Show is my thing I'm thinking about doing. Which is basically just a show. Not really talking much. Just bullshit. <laughs> yeah. For Zero Entertainment stuff. For Zero Channel. um, For PWU. I finished recording the the next episode of Universal TV, which is going to be premiering probably Tuesday or Wednesday. Then on Friday, hopefully, yeah, I I get this done by Friday. Friday is going to be a September to Remember show, which is a event which is going to bleed into the Autumn Tour, everybody's favorite tour of PW. I actually enjoy doing the autumn tour because 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 I, I think the autumn tour I, I think the autumnal gala is gonna be like my Wrestle Kingdom call my WrestleMania maybe it was a little bit but I think this is gonna be more of my Summer Slam Survivor Series so yeah that's what's going on for PWU and uh you know after the autumn tour I don't know what's next but I will say this to confirm things um. What's next is going to be most likely uh, December. I might do this thing called Battle Royale, which is a event basically saying that it's a Battle Royale. So this was an idea like I have for a few weeks now. I don't know why, but it's basically going to be, it's like a Royal Rumble, but it's, but it's going to be more like Aztec Warfare. Where it's like, every man for himself, pinfalls and submissions only. Do whatever the fuck you want. It's a battle royale. So yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to try that a concept. If I enjoy that concept, then I'm going to bring it back, you know, for every year. So yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, what's next? Burning Souls. Burning Souls is coming back probably in in October. And we're going to start off with the Domination Tour. Probably... I think the domination tour is going to start in November. I don't think about it, but it is going to, be, but it is going to uh, come back. Okay, don't worry. The Joshi stuff is going to come back. I also have some plans for Burning Souls for a bit, and it's going to be interesting. So yeah. Uh, is that all? Is that all of my tweets? I think so. Okay, so let's move on, people. Let's move on. Let's move on to some other shit, also known as me rambling. <laughs> so, you know what? Fuck. I dropped my damn USB drive, bro. So, yeah. So, 
who's ready for some you know what since i'm bringing this back this is just going to be like a concept episode so what i'm gonna do is this might be on color tv or zero i'm gonna think about it right after this recording i might edit too so yeah so um I said, damn it, i said i'm again so you want to talk about so do y'all want to talk about uh wrestling anime or concepts let's talk about wrestling for a bit because because i want to i want to use this as a testing waters so most likely i'm gonna send this to uh who's on and uh, michael x just to fuck with them and just so i want to give and because i want to see their opinions so um hijack or kuzan hi michael x or michael <laughs> yeah so uh <laughs> hmm let's talk about wrestling a bit okay and i know a lot of y'all probably like this this nigga talk about wrestling oh my fucking god don't worry, I'm not going to be like the IWC. I'm not going to talk negativity. So let's talk about the negatives. <laughs> I hate wrestling fans so fucking much. Most like most mostly the IWC because it's nauseating. I don't I really hate the fact how we just getting so tribal and getting so annoying. To the point that I had to put my fucking head down because I'm like, bro, this these motherfuckers are annoying. Jesus fucking Christ, I'm the miser. Why you bitching? Enjoy the show. So, I'm gonna give y'all some tips, okay? For those who is a, for those who is getting turned off by wrestling because of because of the wrestling fans, I'm gonna give you some advice because I'm starting to, to do this myself. Because why? Because I don't give a fuck. I'm. I don't care. I. I. I just want to enjoy my Choco Pro. Okay, fuck. <laughs> so, uh, tip number one. Just fucking ignore them. Just, just ignore them. If that doesn't work, here's tip number two. Try to find something else to take your mind off it. If you're trying to be a wrestling fan, but you get turned off by the wrestling fans, the best thing to do is just watch something. Like, like yes, we are in a day and age where the smart mark shit is just everywhere, and it's turning off our enjoyment. But what I usually do, there was okay. There's some times where I know somebody's going to win, but I root for them anyways. But I root for the guy that I know is going to lose anyways. For example, Brock Anderson. I love that motherfucker. I want him to win. It was one match he had. Like, it was one match he had against a Luchasaurus. So, he was going to lose regardless. Because why the fuck would he win? But I still root for him because that's my boy. So, another, so here's one of the tips. Root for your boys. Root for your boys. If your boys are going to lose, you know they're going to lose. They're not winning shit. They're jobbers. Root for them anyways. Because you love to see them. Because you love seeing them. If you love seeing them, then what's the fucking problem? <laughs> then why not root for them, bro? Like, like me with Brock Anderson, Brian Pillman Jr., um, Iron Savages, and just anybody else, bro. Like, I love seeing them, so I will root for them. They're going to lose, but I want them to get good. All right, so all right, so what other things we could do? Um, what other tips we could do? Um, here's another. Yeah, here's another tip. If you're tired of the machine, go against the machine. Watch something else. Watch another promotion that's not run by the machine or run by or run or ruined by the fans or the marks or that or the IWC. Let me break it down to you for, for for people who doesn't understand what the fuck I just said. Like I'm speaking in gibberish. What I mean by go against the machine and just do something else and just watch not the machine is that the WWE or A or AEW, if you're getting sick and tired of the fans or just the negativity 
just cause it turned you off because some guy named Phil Brooks decided to just cause mayhem and then all of a sudden he got fired and then mixed emotions for for the fans that's ruining the business or you mad because of these two or these two guys just break basically bringing the whole morale down. If you don't like that, that's turning you off. Watch watch something else, bro. Modern wrestling is just modern wrestling. There's a lot of people who's gonna have beefs and fight and do everything. But if you really love this business, you really love wrestling, just fucking watch other shit, bro. You got pro wrestling Noah. You got New Japan. You got all Japan. Hashtag Yes, all Japan. But yeah. You got all Japan. You got DDT. If you want to laugh, DDT, Osako Pro, um, some other bullshit. I was going to say uh, Chikara, but Chikara's dead. But if you want to watch Chikara still, just know Chikara was a good shit. Yes, the guy who runs it is an absolute fucking waste of time. But this is not you know make that negative okay so yeah so just watch other stuff if you know the if you know the japanese wrestling times is fucked up you don't have to watch it live just watch it right after the show is aired most likely new japan is going to air like the new japan show is going to be streaming but you can watch it on sites same with noah same with every other japanese promotion Plus, it's not weekly, so you don't have to burn yourself out. Jesus fucking Christ, bro. If you want to go to the States, stay it, but if you want to stay stateside, GCW, CZW, um, ICW, or any other promotions there. Deathmatch or non-deathmatch. Wrestling Revolver. There's other indie promotion out there. You probably can't catch it. On the mainstream, but you can still watch it on YouTube. For example, I'm starting to watch MLW more because 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 it's just something about MLW I like. It's not the machine. It's literally just MLW. It's talent. It's not too big for mainstream, but they are getting their shit in, and they basically try to bring the best product. MLW is it any promotion? Hell, you can watch Impact Wrestling. They're not on. They're not on TV. I think they're on TV, but certain cable networks. But yeah, and uh, yeah. So it's like there's other stuff out there. If you want to go to Mexico, you all know the Mexico up, up promotions. Half of the shit's probably on YouTube, all the main channels, anyways. If you want to go Canadian, Smash, I guess maybe. ECCW, I guess, but yeah, so that's that's one of the ways. And uh, the last uh, th and the last piece of advice I will give you is um, just don't care, <laughs> block them out. If you want to delete, if you want to turn off your uh, Twitter, go ahead because fuck people, I'm an introvert, bro. But I want to be with more people that I like than out there. So yeah, those are my advice to uh and those are my advice to the people who is turned off but still want to stay into wrestling. So there's my advice. Take it, leave it, think about it, sit on it. Yeah. So let me give a little bit of a uh, thing about pro wrestling, and I'm not gonna talk about wrestling news. This is not the show for me uh, talking about uh, wrestling news. I might review a show, maybe another episode. I don't know. Maybe I might actually review the show, but it's not gonna be like no in depth review. I'm not gonna talk about how the matches go from top to bottom, from bell to bell. No, let me, my friend, let me give you some things about me. Let's talk about myself real quick, okay? I'm not professional. I am not a guy who will... I'm a guy who speaks my mind. 
if I have to say some shit, some wild shit, just to get my point across, then I will. If I have to literally just say nigga, if I have to say fuck, if I, if I have to swear or use my terms, then I would. If you don't like it, this is YouTube, right? There's a lot of other niggas out there that you could just watch and all that shit. But I can't change myself. Well, I could change, but I'm not trying to have, I'm not trying to talk like I have a boomstick up my ass. I've been through a, a, a thing that happened where, uh, this is my first time talking about it on my channel, but I'm going to say this, I moved on and I know that I'm probably not welcome back. I know I'm not welcome back on their channel or their network because of who I am. Not because I'm bi, pan, or black, no. It's because how I was in, the, in their show. So I might as well say it on my channel because time has passed, but I just kind of want to put it out there for the people who know who watch me. Where to begin, my fuckers? <laughs> so I was on this uh, show where we talk about SummerSlam. And um, you know what? Should, should I say the names? Because I got nothing to lose anyways, bro. So I'm on this uh, channel. Well, this panel for for SummerSlam. We talk about SummerSlam. Who's going to win? It's basically a prediction panel. Me being me. Me being the dumb nigga that I am. I was acting a fool. <laughs> Making people laugh. I was being me. I was basically just being me. I was basically using my shit, my terms. I was being, I was feeling like I was at home. Until one bubble bass nigga later, he decided to show up on the stream. And he is the man behind the Jeff Meacham Multiverse of Media. Oh, the network that people wants to be on. The neck where people want to see this bloated nigga, but, <laughs> but yeah. For those who don't know, for those who also uh, don't know me, I talk a lot of shit because it's funny to me. But yeah, so I was literally, so I was literally like, you know, oh, this was this was my first time meeting this small fucker, bro. So I so I gave him a good impression. I really gave him a good impression. The first thing I said to this nigga is hi bubble bass. It is the funniest shit. The face he made was the funniest shit on earth. Nigga looked disgusting. He like, what the fuck did this motherfucker say to me, bro? I'm like, ah. <laughs> but yeah, so here's how so here's why I say I'm probably not welcome back. That's probably one of them. <laughs> That's probably one of them. But the other reason why is because I made the joke about fucking Brock Lesnar. Since he does so many Germans, he might as well be in World War II. One of my friends said that joke makes no sense. <laughs> and why would he get mad at it? Because it doesn't make any sense. Basically, what I'm saying is that he does so many Germans. He's, he should be in World War II. It could be either way. It could be like he will fuck the Germans or fuck up the Germans. For how many shits he gave. But yeah. It's, it's just a fucking wild ass joke. I'm a wild nigga. Right bro. So. The nigga left. The nigga. So Jeff left. And. Oh boy. Nigga really typed up something. I would talk to y'all later. Right. For why I left. I'm going to edit this video probably. If I don't edit this video. I just because I'm lazy, okay? But yeah, so let me make sure I know what time. So 24. All right. So he left. And then right after the fucking stream, right? I was called by a good friend of mine and James. So yeah, I was called by him and <laughs> boy, he was fucking furious. I don't blame him. Yeah, I probably gave him a bad impression. Well, I didn't give James a bad impression, but I probably 
made him look bad by that. Same with Noah. I think I made him look bad. To bring a nigga like me on there. <laughs> yeah. So apparently I made people uncomfortable or whatever or um to whatever. So what's crazy about this whole thing, right? If Jeff does sees this shit, hi bubble bass. <laughs> but if he doesn't, that's fine by me. But basically what basically what I'm saying is that after that, I know I'm not welcome back. I'm not welcome back. I mean, that's fine. Because at least I did something that I... At least I was me. Making fucking j jokes, dark humor, being a nigga, and everything. So it's funny. And uh, I will say this. And I'll be very honest with you. The fact that he didn't come to me and talk to me about it. I'm sorry if this sounds fucked up, but that was some pussy shit. If you had a problem with me and being in everything, you could just text me. You could, you could ask James or Noah what's my Discord or how to contact me. We could talk about it like men, but you don't want to. You talk about it in a in your little group chat and thinking that this was a good idea. I don't know if you ever watch your own network shows and how I was but that's how I am bruh and if you didn't like it and you felt like I was breaking it or if, if you felt like I was literally harming the show you could have just talked to me and we could just talk about it like men and not just whatever but that was months ago that was months ago and I just and after all that, I'm like, okay, cool. So, I'm bringing this up just so I got my voice out there. Because I felt like I didn't. Well, I did, but I want to do it myself. Time has passed. I just don't care anymore. <laughs> and I'm still going to be, and I'm still going to act the fool. <laughs> oh, boy. I know they hate me. But I love it. So, yeah, that's some little spicy shit right there, guys. Yes, nah, that's some spicy shit. So, what else you wanna? So, so, uh, what else y'all wanna uh, talk about? Hmm. Let me think about it. Hmm. Okay. So, this is probably stupid, but I kind of want to say some stupid shit right now. I'm going to say this. So, I'm getting to this game, right? I don't know who those, I don't know those who know me, but I'm getting into a fucking game. Well, I started doing this on my PlayStation. I will, since I got PS Plus, I will start to download games. Random fucking games. Probably, mostly RPGs, okay? So, so I will literally download games and literally just play them just to see if I like them. Because PS Plus is one of the ways for PlayStation niggas to literally play games for free. Not all games. Not all games. Just the games you got. If you got, you know, the essential. No, the extra you get to play from the extra library. If you get the premium, you get to play from the extra library and classic games. Who doesn't like a good deal? But I'm not gonna pay a hundred fucking dollars until I get a job. <laughs> if I got a good job with good money, I might pay for the premium because I'm a fucking nerd, okay? I'm a nerd. I'm a nigga nerd, okay? I'm a black nerd who loves games and other shit, okay? So yeah, I'm starting to get so I'm starting to play this game. It's called uh What the fuck? This guy of five and I will say it's a really interesting game. It's kinda like a tactical RPG, but at the same time it kinda isn't. It's turn based. So yeah. So the one thing I like about the game is the fact how you could literally just have a group it's the fact you could literally create a you could literally have an army of penguins. That sold me. 
it sold me really well. It's an interesting game. I'm actually going to keep playing it soon. I also started um Devil May Cry 5, and I, you know, started replaying, well, starting to get back into The Outer Worlds. I hope there's a sequel. But yeah, so yeah, that's just my little thing that I'm starting to do. I'm going to start to play more games just to see what I like and all that stuff. Because I'm trying to make a game. Yes, my game dev journey is back. For those who don't know, I have another channel called Demos Live. If you go, to, if you go to that channel, that's where my extra shit is: memes, devlogs, and live stream. If you want me to play games, if you, if you want to see me play games, make games, or just bullshit, there's my channel. Have fun with that shit, okay? Have fun. So, <clears throat> what else to talk about? Let's talk about music. Shit. Yes, let's talk about music, people. Music, I love music. I am a music addict. Music is my drug for life. But I will say this. I listen to C.D. Mork's new album, and I love it. I'm a trap metal fan. My music I listen to is rock, and rock, rock hip-hop, electronic, pop, sometimes country, and bullshit. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, music is love. Music is life. Music is forever. What else you want to talk about, guys? Let me drink some water real quick. Now water has been fulfilled. <laughs> so, I guess I could talk about some plans going forward. I'm still gonna be me. I'm still gonna bullshit. I'm still gonna. I'm still gonna make the content, and I'm still gonna be true to myself. I feel like I just said that, like a, I feel like I already said that, but I said it in a different way. Oh, fucking well. So, yeah. So, here's some plans going forward. Probably on this channel. Probably not. Probably will. Maybe. I need to get an external drive because I'm, my storage here is getting, it's scree My I feel like my computer has been screaming at me every fucking day. Especially when it comes to storage and battery. So my 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 PC does not like me. <laughs> yeah, I need to get ex I need to get another terabyte storage. Cause my cause I need to put some shit on there. Not like a USB drive, but an actual fucking plate. But yeah. So moving forward. PWU is still gonna thrive, I hope. I feel like I, I feel like the storyline I'm going for PWU is really fun. Like, it's legit fun as shit. Because it's like, it's so deep dive into what's going on with the with the story. Like, I feel like the storyline I'm doing with Reborn is kind of fun. But I'm also doing a storyline with, with my main guy, J.K. Miller, with Mother. Speaking of that, the Mother, after, speaking of that, Aftermath is coming soon. Maybe in October. Because it felt right. So yeah. But I'm going to give y'all a teaser, alright? Well, let me give y'all what was supposed to happen. The aftermath uh, video was supposed to happen. It's supposed to take place right after Pride 5. But I'm changing that to right after the Grizz Determined Finals. Because it kind of like aligns in for what's going on now. Because this is going to be a lot different. I might tell you what's going to happen. But I I don't want to spoil you everything. But the Aftermath video. Is going to take place right after the Grizz Determined Finals. It's going to deal with J.K. Miller. And that video. Is going to be in the storyline. From what I started. If y'all don't remember. there was a vi There was a promo. I think during the road to Hot Pursuit, when J.K. was talking about how that tag match was kind of fucked up because of Mother kind of messing with him. That was months ago. But Mother did say the mat that fight is going to be on their terms. So their terms is probably coming up soon. So this, so Aftermath is... So, Aftermath is the continuation of that. 
The reason why mother hasn't been it. The reason why mother hasn't been really that deep into these few these past few months. It's because he's it's because they are watching what's going on. I want to explain mother in another video, probably in you know a promo or some shit. But yeah. Because I have because because I'm actually excited for this. This is something that I thought that'd be pretty fucking cool. And it might be a I think the match might be a separate video. Might be highlight reel, maybe. If I if I still have my sandy from that last one I did. But yeah, I'm kinda excited for that. Because this storyline's pretty fun. Same with the same with the a reborn joint, because from what happened, this is gonna be pretty interesting. I have a lot of plans for the Reborn Storm, especially Bread and Sharp. I have a lot of plans for him. So yeah. Uh, for frontline stuff going forward, right, right after everything, right, right okay, after everything or nothing, it's gonna be a two week break. Cause usually what I do for a frontline, like after every big event or pay per view, it's gonna be a break in between. So yeah. But yeah, this is the biggest everything on nothing show I've, I've ever fucking did. And I think I finally got some closure. So yeah. And yeah. So I want to talk about my game dev journey. So I've been using NordPG Maker for a long time. Like too fucking long. <laughs> And one of my games I'm making in Pure Blessings is, I think I got a good amount to 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 release a demo. But the only way I but the only thing I gotta do just to release a demo is to get the battles there and some little bit of scrubbing too. So I think I might release the demo maybe November. But the only thing. But the only thing I gotta do is get the battles in, like play test it a bit, and have some other guys a play test it just so it's a good enough for a demo. Then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna release the demo. Well, that's later on. But there's another game I'm working on. That's not an RPG maker. I'm announcing I'm gonna try zero zero one game game creator. And the game I'm going to do is a plat is probably a platform hack and slash. But the first step is to get the platforming right. The game I'm making is a game I tried to make years ago on the Unreal Engine. If those who knows my dev logs and those who know a lot of my shit from there. They should know about the Jerlocks game. But, but y'all probably don't know about it. So I, I might as well talk about it. I was trying to make a game called Jerlocks, right? So Jerlocks is a story of a guy with Jerlocks. But it's kind of like influenced by Afro Samurai. If you know Afro S Samurai, then you know what I'm trying to do. So, Dreadlocks is a story of a guy with Dreadlocks who is uh, nicknamed Dreadlocks. <sighs> uh, damn. So, it's basically about a guy who has Dreadlocks who is nicknamed Dreadlocks and he is a, and he's a shinobi or, or ninja or a swordsman. So, his thing is that the story, I never got the full story, but the whole synopsis is that he's a swordsman and he's doing swordsman shit. He's basically, he's basically him. So I think the story might be like a bit of a, um, I was born, I have no family. Well, that's kind of edgy. I was, I was basically fucking founded in a, box floating through a river i was 
raised by this guy who's a swordsman, taught me a Dao. I'm trying to find out who's my who birthed me, who's my mother, and what the fuck's going on with this place because the big bad is trying to take over, trying to monopolize a lot of things. So yeah, um, the setting is probably modern times, like a modern tradition times. So it's kind of like modern, like current day, but it has some traditional elements just to make things spicy up. So yeah, I'm going to work on that. But first, I need to learn the whole platformer thing first before I do anything else. But yeah, that's what's going to happen. Dang, 40 minutes in. And I already got a few topics done on that. That's crazy. I can't wait until I actually review a fucking show on this some bitch. <laughs> Then we're gonna have a good ass time. <laughs> yeah. I am so fucked. <laughs> but oh for those who remember my uh thing I used to do, so I used to do interviews with some other um with some other um EFED owners and I'm about to start that again. I think I think my first return guest is probably gonna be the guy who runs Razor Wrestling. It's a forms wrestling, so yeah. Yeah, like their fed is on a form and it's basically um fuck what's it called? It's basically that it I forgot what they call it. It's a e fed, but it's on a forms and it's not just using the game, it's text. So basically you're reading. But yeah. I might do it like like he's one of my guys I'm going to interview and I and, and it probably won't go well because Hey, I'm just going to be real with him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, speaking of EPEDs. I am a huge guy with EPEDs. I love EPEDs. I love 2K feds. I love Fire Pro feds. But some of my favorite feds are kind of shutting down. Like CAWF or Super Spurs Wrestling. It sucks to it sucks to see them go, but sometimes you gotta move on, bro. Yeah. That's why I'm... There's a lot of major efforts, like Call All Stars or Call of Honor or XDPW. But I want to support the smaller ones. The ones that's not getting... Not only not, a, not enough tension, but also getting, you know... They small. I'm those are the ones I'm going to support. So maybe if I do another episode of this, I'm going to you know talk about their feds, just to give them some acknowledgement, just to say I, I acknowledge you. So yeah, I think this is it. This is you know this is the whole episode. It's quick. I know it's forty minutes, but I'm not spending three hours or one hour, probably an hour. It depends how I feel of me rambling. I know none of y'all want to hear me rambling. And I think half of y'all are sick and tired of hearing my voice. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is probably this is probably gonna be a raw file. And I'm just gonna upload it, maybe. Maybe. But yeah, we'll, we'll think about it. If this goes well, the next ones I'm gonna probably do some editing, or the next ones I'm probably gonna just keep doing this like this. So yeah, if you enjoy, like, comment, sub. Say hi. Say fuck you. Basically just, you know, whatever, bro. So, yeah, this is me. I am me. You are you. Stay hydrated. And just enjoy your life. Yeah. I'm going to think of an outro soon, but yeah. So, yeah, thank you guys for listening and dealing with me. And I hope you have a good day or night. Or noon or evening. If you if you power through this shit, you you're a real one. If you like, if you listened and you just watch, um, yeah. If you listened and you just listen by parts, that's fine too. But yeah, I t I'll talk to you guys later. And yeah, bye bye.